What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so we're in here, uh, Route 213 and we're still finding some hidden items on the beach. That's right, we found ourselves a pearl. And I think in our last episode, yes, we went to the resort, uh, the... I can't remember what the name was. Let me go back on the, on the Boobapedia again. <laughs> yes, the, the Boobapedia. Yeah, the Hotel Grand Lake. And, uh, yeah, we have helped out quite a few people with finding some items and here and there and all that stuff. Not much of a big thing, but we're back here battling some more Pokemon trainers. On our way to Pastoria City, um, it's not like we didn't battle in our last episode, too. We actually did, like, what, five double battles? So it was action-filled. It was good. It was great. You know, it was, you know, it was a good, uh, it was a good, uh, episode. I, I would say so myself. But right here, we're back to business, going to... Or on our way to Pastoria City, as you can see, Donatello dominating this Pokemon right here, this Meryl. That's right. Finish him off right here. Donatello doing his thing. And hopefully I can evolve all my Pokemon right there. And uh, as you can see, that's a good move right there. Just defeating him. And uh, I don't know, what's next? Who is next? Who is next right here? Ah, yes. We're going to be going up against this little kid right here. And he is itching for a battle right now. So, here we go. Bring it. Just bring it. Tuber Jared coming out with his Shellos, and as you can see, uh, Shellos is a different color right here in this part of the region. Um, like I mentioned, I think in two episodes ago? Yes. Uh, two episodes ago, I mentioned that I believe it was Sinnoh that introduced the different, um, or what was it? The region exclusive, or not region exclusive, but region, regional difference of Pokemon or whatever, how, however you like to call it. I really don't care. I don't care. But you guys can comment down below and let me know about that. And, uh, do they serve a purpose? I don't know. Comment down below again. But it is a very, very good, uh, you know, difference maker or whatever. Uh, gender, uh, color, whatever, you know. I think this is where it's all introduced. Different types and all that stuff. And, uh, well... Let's go right ahead and just kick some butt right here. Of course, Shell is throwing that uh, that rain tack or uh, rain dance, and uh, it's not doing much because, you know, Donatello can just easily go like this. Return attack. That's right. Return. And, uh, well... Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And, uh, well... Let's gonna be mo moving on right here. We're gonna be switching it up our Pokemon right here. Well, you know what? We're gonna stay with uh, our Donatello, and here we have the different colored Shellos. Now, let me let me go back to the whole uh, let me let me go back to the whole uh, Shellos thing. I'm gonna go on Boobapedia while I'm kicking everybody's butt right here. Let's go Shellos, Shellos. Okay. Yes. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So the, here we go. Shellos, the Sea Slug Pokemon. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, water Pokemon introduced in Generation 4, it evolves into Gastrodon, starting at level 30. Uh, Shellos has two different appearances, which is the, we the West Sea Pokemon, which is uh, pink and white, wh which we're battling right now, and the East Sea Pokemon, which is blue and green, found in the respective sides of Sh uh, Sinnoh's mountain range. Okay, so, I guess it's, uh, appearances, what I'm trying to say right here. And, uh, well, yeah. I, I, I don't think it gains any kind of like experience or any kind of like uh, different kind of powers being a different kind of uh, you know appearance and all that stuff so I could be wrong I don't know it's been a while guys I'm not that deep into the the whole exploration of uh, Pokemon the biologies of Pokemon and here we go battling this guy right here yeah the, the ADHD is kicking in again guys <laughs> but anywho Let's go with the Fisherman Kenneth, and he's coming out with his Remoraid. I'm coming out with Donatello, looking pretty badass right now. And uh, Mega Drain for the win. That's right. How easily I change my subjects. It's pretty hilarious. It is, guys. And uh, Remoraid, looking, uh, not looking so good right now. He would rather be alive than fainted and all that. And here he comes out with another Remoraid, so I'm just going to stay with the Pokemon right here, you know. You know, Donatello's just, he's doing his own thing. Kicking butt, taking names, all that fun stuff. And here we go again, Mega Drain. Hmm. Mega Drain for the win. That, that, that sounds good. That sounds great. So there goes, there goes a, a good old Pokemon right there. And uh, now, it's coming out with another one again, guys. Oh, shoot. Okay, so let me just switch out my Pokemon right here and go with uh, Hydra number four. 
and uh, well, Hydra number four, ready to kick some butt, because this guy's coming out with his own Gyarados, but the cool thing about my Pokemon is that it knows an electric type attack. That's right, an electric type attack. Yes. So here we go, Thunder for the win. That's right. That's right. Say goodbye to Gyarados. Now, a good combination would be Rain Dance and Thunder because it will th Thunder will never miss in the rain. It really won't. Get it? Weather effects, all that fun stuff. It's always good. Alrighty, so let's move on right here, seeing our footsteps. And this is the Footstep Doctor, I guess. And he will actually tell us about, you know, the stories behind our Pokemon. What they think of us, uh, you know, what they think of us what to think of our, our Pokemon. Right now he's looking at my Torterra. And he's like a remarkable human being. He's a tribute, he's a partner, you can trust him. Pokemon envision and all that stuff. And yes, that's what my Pokemon Torterra thinks of me. He says we share a close bond and we get ourselves a footprint uh, ribbon. So it it basically it basically shows if uh, our Pokemon loves us or not. And uh, that's exactly what it is. He does love us. And uh, now we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here and uh, battling some more Pokemon trainers because why not? Let's go ahead and battle everybody. So here we go. Beauty Cindy with the Y coming out with her Glammeow. And I'm coming out with Gaia number two because we still need to evolve this Pokemon. We're really, really close on doing that. And uh, we're going to be switching it out right here and going with Toothless. El Toothless. The Pokemon. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here we go. Take down attack. Does it do it? Will it do it? Almost does it. Glammeow. He looks so glammy. Or glamorous, I should say. So here we go again. R Dragon Rage. And that is how you do that. Finish him. So in that Mortal Kombat phase right there. And uh, look at that. We attacked you massively. That's great. Alright, so let's see. Any hidden items? No, nope, but we can Rock Smash right here, and I think... You know what? I'm going to teach one of the Pokemon Rock Smash. I mean... Eh, with, the, with the move that... Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Rock Smash. And uh, I'm going to teach one of my Pokemon uh, Rock Smash. Eh, teach him a... And then, you know, you know, replace it afterwards. So here we go, Hera. Uh, you know what? Hera doesn't really have any... Any uh, good moves. So, you know what? I'm going to take out Beat Up because it really didn't do much. It literally takes 10 HP per Pokemon that I have in my in my team. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch it out with Rock Smash for the time being and just uh, open up a can of Whoop Ass on these boulders. See what these items, these, these hidden items are. So, there's a tree that you can actually find a Pokemon. And I'm not going to slather any honey because, you know, I have no time for that. And, uh... This guy right here needs to be broken because I never get this item. And uh, there we go. Grab the Aerial Ace. Okay, so TM40 Aerial Ace is all good. And uh, you know what? Let me switch out my Pokemon right here with Starblade because I have a feeling this guy might battle me. Uh, actually, he won't. He's actually talking to me about the cliff right there, telling me that there's a, spe a specific HM for that. And uh, let's see. We're going to grab a few... A few berries right here. Iapa or Iapa? Ip Don't even know how to pronounce it. Man, I'm really wow. A lot of you guys are like telling me right now, man. You you suck at names, maybe. But I try. And there's the raspberry. That's the raspberry. And then a guava. The a guava berry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Really, really, really sorry. So, that's all the berries right there. And I think, yeah, there's no Pokemon trainers right here. So, here we are going into the Pastoria City entrance. And uh, let's see. This guy telling me about the Footprints guy. And this lady right here tells me about the Battle Frontier, which, yes, we already know the Battle Frontier. Uh, hate it. I really do. Hate the Battle Frontier. So, here we are, Pastoria City, guys. We've made it, and uh, why is there a Team Galactic guy there? Huh. Okay, so he was at the Veilstone vale City place talking about explosives. This guy's talking out loud, and uh, oh, look at that. My face right there. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be taking a tour of pa uh, Pastoria City. See you guys.